Hi everyone, welcome back to Wesner's Tech News and Reviews. Today we'll be talking about the top five cheapest trackers out on the market, but also note the word top. So they are excellent trackers, but they are super, super budget. And at the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you a bonus watch, which is also under 50 bucks. Well, it's actually under 40 bucks. And it's different to any other smartwatch or fitness tracker that you've seen. So make sure to watch till the end and let's get into it. If you are new to Wesno's tech news and reviews, we talk about the latest tech news. We do brutally honest reviews and share hacks and tricks along the way. Now, as we start going through all these fitness trackers, let me just say that we are going to be discussing the premium or the advanced features. We're not going to be focusing on the basics, but what are the basics? So all of them have alarms, stopwatches, timers. Uh, they will alert you of notifications, being texts, emails, calls, etc. We are going to be talking about the smart features such as sport modes, auto activity recognition, sleep stages, and so forth. And so I think we're ready to kick off. I would actually like to start with the Samsung Galaxy Fit 2. So this is actually a Samsung, so a world renowned brand. And the name of this tracker actually includes the word Galaxy. So yes, it does have quite a few premium features and it costs just 49 bucks. But I've actually been seeing it quite a few times on Amazon for as low as 40 bucks. So let's get through with the Galaxy Fit 2. Let me tell you all about it. Well, those things that you actually do need to know about it. On one hand, the Galaxy Fit 2 does look like any other fitness tracker. So it does have a bland plastic rectangular face, but it does pop out of the rubber strap. It's got a 1.1 inch AMOLED display. For trackers this size, the 1.1 inch is a good effort. The AMOLED display resolution is 126 by 294 pixels. It has 70 watch face styles you can down from the Samsung app. The Fit 2 also has 10 brightness levels. While you sleep, it monitors three sleep stages. You like your deep and REM sleep. As well as that, it's got auto activity recognition. In regards to the auto activity recognition, it's actually got five different activities which are auto recognized. It's got an absolutely huge range of sports that you can download from the Samsung Health app. And you can keep up to 10 as favorites on the watch face. Now let's talk about the Honor Band 6. So I'm sure you've seen all the reviews, all the comparisons we've been doing with this fantastic tracker. And again, it's under 50 bucks. In fact, I got this one for just, I think it was something around 35 or 40 bucks. The claim to fame of the Honor Band 6 is that it was the first fitness tracker that came out with an absolutely humongous AMOLED display. The size of this display is almost as good as with superb and premium smartwatches. So you do get 1.47 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 194 by 360 pixels. The dial is covered with a 2.5D Gorilla Glass for that extra protection against scratches, wear and tear and so forth. The TPU strap is using a similar seamless look tapered to the sides of the tracker just like on a Band 5. There's an SpO2 monitor, a stress monitor, heart rate sensor for continuous heart rate tracking. There are also 10 goal-based sport modes, a guided breathing app, medically certified sleep monitoring with a sleep summary screen on your watch as well as a torch. Now in regards to sleep stages though, so you do get your light, your deep and REM sleep, but most importantly, the Honor Band 6 actually uses Huawei True Sleep technology. So that actually gives you a sleep score as well as sleep recommendations and advice on how to improve your sleep quality. Another huge screened fitness tracker is the Amazfit BIPU. So it came out just after Honor Band 6. It might not have an AMOLED display, but it's got a very bright, very sharp and crisp TFT LCD display. And yes, 1.43 inches, that's huge. So this tracker gets continuous heart rate monitoring, it can also monitor your blood oxygen level, stress level, steps. There are 60 sport profiles to choose from. All of them are goal based. There are also smart alerts. With the Amazfit Bip you, you get a lot, a lot of premium customizations. 
in sport modes as an example. So all of them are goal-based, that's great, but also you get to actually define your data screens. What do you wanna see on them? On top of that, you get smart alerts. By smart alerts, I mean pace reminders, heart rate, heart rate range reminders. So you actually get notified if you go outside your specified heart rate range, or if you're running at a pace different to what you wanted to. So it is quite advanced. And these features are mostly seen on sport watches or quite advanced smart watches. And of course, all of the trackers we are mentioning today are waterproof or water resistant up to 50 meters, including the BIP-U. In regards to the bip use, so this one here is actually under 50 bucks. But if you do want to have GPS included, you would have to go for the bip U Pro. But unfortunately, that would take us out of our price bracket of 50 bucks because the bip U Pro does cost $60. The bip U does have more aces up its sleeve though. So it does have a Pomodoro tracker, so a time management tool. It's got a world clock. And another cherry is the fact that it does have a female cycle tracker. Now let's have a chat about the Xiaomi Mi Band 5. So this is also a relatively new tracker. It's only been around for about four or five months. And it's also quite good because you do get a screen that's very similar to the Samsung Galaxy Fit 2. In fact, the resolution is identical. The screen size is also identical at 1.1 inches. So the brightness level is high, it's 450 nits. You do get a lot of sport modes. There are 11 on here, they're preset, but you do get two auto-recognized activities, walking and running. In fact, it's also similar to the Galaxy Fit 2 in that you can actually pop it out of its band just like the Galaxy Fit 2. There are over 100 faces that you can download from the Mi Fit app and you can actually customize information on the faces. So you can choose where you wanna see the time, the battery, or the calories, or the steps, or the heart rate. So that is quite handy. It does monitor three sleep stages, like deep and RM sleep. There's stress monitoring, and in fact, you can switch on the continuous tracking from the Zep app. There's also a guided breathing app, Pi, and an SpO2 monitor. Now, what is Pi? And of course, all the Xiaomi and the Amazfit wearables do have Pi. What's Pi? That's the Personal Activity Index. This index is actually calculated by processing your heart rate as well as your activity data. So it looks at how intense you've been working over the last day. So Pi is actually a single value metric which tells you all about your cardiovascular health. As long as you keep that value above 100 points, that means in general that you are 25% less prone to getting heart disease. The fifth tracker I want to talk about today is the Amazfit Band 5. Now, if you just look at this tracker, it might look identical to Xiaomi Mi Band 5, but that is not the case. They are quite different indeed. So the Amazfit Band 5 came out a couple of weeks after the Xiaomi Mi Band 5. And this tracker has everything that that one has, plus a couple of aces. And these aces are, so it does have a superior heart rate monitor on the back of it. And if you look at the heart rate comparisons and tests that we have done earlier, you can see that the difference is there. The Amazfit Band 5 is slightly better at monitoring your heart rate. On top of that, the Amazfit Band 5 has a claim to fame. It is the cheapest tracker in the world to have Amazon's Alexa. So with Amazon Alexa, as you know, you can ask the tracker jokes, you can store your shopping list, you can ask it to set your alarms. Well, it's just great because for such a low price, under 40 bucks, you are getting Alexa. And as promised at the start of the video, I mentioned that we will go into a bonus smartwatch. So something that's under 50 bucks, that is absolutely great and it makes the top of the pile. Well, the top of the pile, I mean, in general, out of most of the budget trackers out there. So this is the Amazfit Neo. This is a very interesting beast. I'm absolutely sure that if you haven't specifically looked for the Neo, you would not have seen anything like it. The Amazfit Neo is all about retro, but with all the bips and bobs that you get on advanced smartwatches. 
So this thing right here, it's actually waterproof. It's got four buttons that will help you navigate the always on display. And no, there's no silent alarm. There's no vibration. It's retro. What do retro watches do? They have a beeping sound. Well, that's what the Neo has as well. You're not going to be able to download any pretty watch faces. Nope. It's a digital watch, basically like you would see on the old Casios. But it's not a Casio, it's a mass fit. So it does everything a Casio would do, but it actually brings the smarts, a lot of them, for a very budget price at just $39 or $29, as I've lately been seeing on Amazon. What can you actually measure on this one? Well, it will show you world clock. It will monitor your sleep. In fact, your light, deep and REM sleep. It's got a humongous battery life of 28 days. In fact, I've actually had it lying around without me actually using it. And it's been lying around for about 40 days without needing a charge. This is just unheard of. It's absolutely amazing. It's got a step counter. It continuously monitors your heart rate, taking measurements every 30 minutes. It auto recognizes your sports. So if you're walking or running, the watch will just kick off and start monitoring or measuring that run or walk. So you can't actually choose a sport mode off the watch face. So it's all about convenience. If you don't want a full blown smartwatch or fitness tracker, but you do want something that will help you monitor your health because it does have the pie metric, you might as well just get this watch. It shows you your time, your steps, it shows your heart rate, but it's not exactly a smartwatch or a fitness band. So it is quite an interesting beast. So if you did enjoy this video where we discuss the top trackers, if you've got any questions, please come back to me in the comments below the video. Thanks for watching. Drop us a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you do want to see more of the same, please hit the red subscribe button below the video. And I'll see you in the next one.